Hi everyone, I'm back. Julian's here. Yeah. Um, for today's scriptures, by the way, sorry, I have the Bible here. And I need to put it here first. So, oh, so it's easy for me to talk. I think it's getting better. Thanks for waiting. So now I'm going to read the Bible, which is found in Exodus chapter 23, verse 13 said, Pay attention to all that I have said to you, and make no mention of the names of other gods, nor let it be heard on your lips. So, do you know who's the one who's talking in this um, verse? It is God. God, because he said, pay attention to all that I have, I have said to you. And it, it is according to his Bible. And it is from him, not it is based on my point of view. It is in here, in the Bible. And if you're not really sure, if you think that I'm lying, you could try to check it on in the Bible. If you have your Bible, you can try to open it. We have a lot of version. It is like, um, New International Version, uh, English Standard Version, King James Version, and if you don't have the Bible that you wanted to buy, like in a bookstore or in a Bible store or in a Christian store, you can try to check it as well in the uh, in online, in the Google, or maybe in the um, how to say it, in a Play Store because nowadays it's so high tech so we can try to check it on there and um, maybe in a, in a google like for example you said exodus 3414 and you put it in there niv or esv and you can see there all of it and you can put it as well the exodus 23 uh, 13 and they says to pay attention to all that i have said to you and and it says in the bible that um, make no mention of the names of other gods nor let it be heard on your lips so it is very clear that we are forbidden to, to say the word that is coming from our lips and we said the name of other in the name of God and our God we have our own God all of us he is our God it's just a matter that we should know him more even more because our god knows us so much and um and it's according to the word of god in the exodus 34 14 as what i said in the other previous videos of mine it is says that for you shall not worship no other god for the lord who is named jealous is a jealous god so it is very clear that our God is a jealous God and he don't want and he don't want that our attention we're gonna take it away from him and he don't want us to um, serve other any gods that is made from human because our God is a spirit and it is really clear it is in the Bible and as I told you many many times our God is a spirit because our God we have um, I just want to explain it to you the Holy Trinity. We have God the Father, which is in heaven, and we have God the Son, which is Jesus Christ, who died on the cross in the Calvary of Sin, which is death, in order for us to be safe. And and after Jesus Christ died on the cross and then resurrected, and then he went back together with his father, with our father, and then and now here in this world in our generation we have God the Holy Spirit and there is God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit they are three persons but they are one God I want I'm gonna try to explain it very clearly to you for example the water if you put the water in the fridge and it gets freeze right it's frozen but once you take it out from the freezer it's gonna be still water and then if it's gonna you're gonna put it in the water uh in the pot and warm it up or maybe in the microwave it's gonna still if you put it out and leave it there in the table 
or in a fridge you're gonna still be water <laughs> the same as if you put the water only outside of your um outside of the fridge or in the table just doing nothing it is gonna still water so it's the same in our god we have three um we have one we have three person they are three person but they are one god god the father god the son god the holy spirit so we can recognize we can call them god lord king of kings uh, jesus christ and whatever it is um they're gonna still the same they're gonna still one God. So the other one is Leviticus, and as I just want to remind you again, again, and the, the verse is Leviticus nineteen four, and that is said that um do not turn to idols or make yourselves any gods of cast metal. I am the Lord. So the Lord said that that we cannot. We cannot worship or we cannot turn to idols. We cannot um, worship those cast metals that is said that they said that is there is the God. It's the, a lot of gods, you know. Here in this world there's a lot of gods, but we only have one God. And our God is the Chalos God. And we cannot take we cannot twist the word that he put in his Bible. Because if we twist that Bible the word of God it is forbidden and it's a big sin that we can we can uh, do that against god we should love our god we should we should um um worship him alone no other gods and we cannot say any other gods through our lips through our mouths and i hope that this word we're gonna uh, let you know god even more and you it's gonna lead you to talk to god even more because as i told you before god god the father is in heaven god the father god the son is in the here in this uh god the father is in heaven god the son jesus christ is in heaven but god the holy spirit is in this world he is an omnipresent god he is everywhere even we eat we poop we pee, we take a shower, or we are in a room crying, or happy, or we are celebrating something, or we are sad, or we are not having fun because we feel so sad and depressed or anxiety, whatever it is what you're feeling for. Our God is with us. Our God is with you, comforting you, trying to comfort you and talking to you. And He wanted Him, He wanted you to talk to Him. It's a matter of fact. It's a matter of time that we should be um how to say it um uh, sensitive enough sensitive enough to listen to his voice so guys um let it be yourself known to the whole to the holy spirit and very sensitive to him and talk to him you can treat him as he's your best friend and it's gonna be totally changing in your lives so Thank you so much for waiting, guys, and for watching until the end. God bless and take care. Bye.